Hey guys, this is Matt New Haven Monroe here speaking. Um, looking at a locomotive I got from the hobby store in Rhode Island, um, Warwick, Rhode Island. It's AA Hobbies. Decent, very good, decent place to get uh, parts, you know, like trains and stuff like that, cars, etc. Decent prices on everything. Anyway, seeing this here, it's a C liner. HO scale locomotive proto 1000 1000 series locomotive number 84 oh 8742 Canadian National now what price I paid was 56 bucks for it figure what the heck you know it's a local hobby shop you know support your local hobby shops get out there and support them and I got some insulated rail joiners so let me take this out of the box here and show you what this thing does and I had to do some modifications to it had a surprise inside the locomotive alright sorry for the bad angle I'm trying with a new tripod here so here's the locomotive here I'm going to unbox this it's not the first time I've unboxed it. I had to do some uh, do some modifications to it. It is um, fully equipped with handrails. It, it didn't have them on there. I actually put them on. Let me get my light here. My desk light. So get this down. As you can see, I added the handrails here what I had what was in this little pouch here this is the only one left so I did as much as I can I get this out I had to uh, re-oil it and grease it the grease that was in it congealed um, it was like this yellowish grease there it is, Canadian National. If you can see it. It's uh, number 8742 C1AB. This is 48%. Is the Canadian National Railroad in the front. Get the light. There we go. So I put the handrail here. That's the only one I had left comes with um, knuckle couplers um, built just like an atherm because here's an example here's my atherm they're virtually identical I swear you could probably swap the wheels from an atherm to Proto 1000 but I don't know so anyway I'm going to clip in right now to what I had to do to it and then you'll see it run so let me stop the vid right here alright if you ever had to take one of these Proto 1000 series locomotives apart there's clip here clip here on both sides and you gotta take the front coupler off and then you just lift like so and there's one of the Grab hands in there, grab irons that haven't been put on. And there's the circuit board, which is dusty. And yeah, pretty interesting. I guess that's where you put a decoder, right here. You plug it in there. Or, nope, that'd be the backup lighting. Okay, it's by NCE. Pretty nifty. Gotta take this and degrease it and clean it up because this is plenty dusty. There and there. As you can see, don't know what that there is. I'll have to find out. Alright, just to recap here, this is a 
this is just because I'm going to make, you know, I'm making the video, obviously, of this locomotive here. Canadian National 8742. Now, this is a Proto... 1000 series C liner. It's supposed to have heavy die cast chassis, eight wheel pickup, eight wheel drive, RP25 black and blue wheels, five pole skew on armature motor, uh, constant directional lighting, and dual machine brass flywheels. Well, the flywheels are there. There's one there, and there's one on this side. Now, this is not your typical. Um, PC board as you can see it says NCE if you can read it upside down and this is actually a DCC board I looked it up on eBay they're going for about 30 to 90 dollars depends on what it is so as you can see I disabled the wiring here because I didn't know this is DCC um I asked uh, a couple guys in a uh, Instagram, uh, basically a uh, group of us are on there, and Cocosing Valley Model Railroad said, that looks like a DCC controller. Well, he's right. Absolutely 100% right. So that's where the motor would connect here, the LED... Um, I can show you what a pair of tweezers if I can find where I put them. Oh, I got I got them right on my lap. So this blue wire is supposed to go way over here on this side, and then the resistor here is supposed to go here. Red wire is supposed to go down here. Now the black wire is supposed to go right where it is and no no I'm wrong red here black here blue in the center where the resistor is blue is supposed to be here and then the resistor is supposed to be on this leg here on this side it's red and black this is a five function controller here um, I don't know what the address is because I don't use DCC, but most likely it's the same railroad number as this in here, or it's option three. Now, the LED in the front here does work, as I'll show you in right now. See, it's on low power, it goes forward. Now if you put it reverse, it doesn't light up at all because I believe the resistor is making it so it doesn't do that or there's a diode in here somewhere, which is fine. So, yeah, did not know this was a DCC chip until uh, Kozing actually confirmed that for me so thank you for confirming it and we'll continue on with the review all right let's get this sea liner hooked up to her freight cars and run it forward as she goes she's hooked And of course, the cars that I have start derailing. You know what? Solve the problem. Take it off. It's a CN caboose. I don't know why it's derailing. Anyway, let's get this thing going. There we go. Like I said, it's still work in progress on the way up here. Oh, there goes the LED. I don't know why, it didn't want to light up. But it just runs smooth. Let's give it some more speed. I 
Yes, the um, gears are actually starting to split a little bit. Not the gears, but the part where the metal uh, wheel actually goes in. It's starting to split on it. Just starting to turn the light down or off, rather. My desk lamp. You know, to see the LED light on the locomotive light up real bright. That's it. Let's see what the crawl's like. Look at that nice bright. Nice crawl. So that's the Canadian National Proto 1000. I just bought it. Figure why the heck not, you know? It's something new that I've never had and it was going for a good price and I said, what the heck, you know? And then to add to this, um, if you remember, this is the locomotive's run. If you remember, my uh, Riverasi 040, I got the small coupler now because the one I was running sticks out like that. So there's the new one, won a bid on eBay for like five bucks for those. So that's it. Have a good one. Right, get one more run by. Speed it up here. Ship the momentum right off. Brake. Hit the brake. That's it. Have a good one.